everyone and welcome to another episode of Solving Problems in My Farm. My name is Carla Garcia, North America's Technical Service and Consultant. And today we're going to learn how to do fertilizer for leafy greens. We are right now at CF, which is the Control Environment Agriculture Center at the University of Arizona. We here have different types of leafy greens and we are going to learn how to do a nutrient solution from scratch. When starting a nutrient solution, the first step that you need to do is to get the nutrient solution. This is the Port America's fertilizer that is specialized for uh, leafy greens. And the second step will be to read the instructions. So it's really important to look for the suggested rates and also take in consideration your water source. Remember, the water source is the water that you will be using for the nutrient solution. And sometimes this can be high in calcium or high in sulfates. In this case, the fertilizer from Port Americas must be complemented with calcium nitrate and magnesium sulfate, meaning that in order to do the fertilizer, we need this fat, and we also require calcium nitrate and magnesium sulfate. Why? This is because if your water source is not ideal, you will be able to change the amount of calcium or change the amount of sulfate by changing the amount of calcium nitrate or magnesium sulfate. So now we're going to start by reading the instructions from the fertilizer. First, we are going to learn the suggested rates. As this fertilizer is mentioning in here, the rates are suggested, meaning that you can change that based on your nutrient solution. Never take uh, as true all the information in directions or, or instructions on the fertilizer, because sometimes based on your water source, you can change the amount a little bit. For that, it's very important to learn on how to change parts per billion for a different nutrients. You can learn about that in our fertilizer management shortlist. So, let's start reading the instructions. So, for, from this fertilizer, we need to add 1.22 grams per gallon. So, these are the suggested rates. So, in this case, I'm going to add 1.23 grams per gallon. So, that's the amount that I will be using based on the water source. That, uh, that is here in Seattle. And uh, as I mentioned previously, this fertilizer would be complemented with calcium nitrate and magnesium sulfate. So I will start first by adding the uh, nutrient solution from Port Americas. And after that, I will add 3.5 grams per gallon of calcium nitrate and 1.6 grams per gallon of magnesium sulfate. Behind me, I have a reservoir with 20 gallons uh, that we are going to make. Before starting, we are going to first find tools in order to check our pH and electrical conductivity. For uh, leafy greens, it's recommended to keep a pH between 5.5 and 6, and EC must be between 1.2 to 1.8 microsiemens per centimeter. So these are our tools in order to check pH and electrical conductivity after adding uh, the nutrients. But let's stop this video for a minute so we can learn how important it is to mix each of the ingredients correctly in order to avoid precipitation. So let's start by adding an amount of water in the reservoir, but do not pour all the water so we can have water on separate tanks in this case so we can mix each of the ingredients separately. So we have three different buckets, uh, one with the uh, Horto Americas nutrient solution, another with calcium nitrate, and another one with magnesium sulfate. Be sure to mix everything correctly. And now that we have all the ingredients, we are going to mix each, each of the ingredients on our reservoir. We're going to start by mixing uh, the nutrient solution and you will see like a yellowish color. After that, it's important to uh, add uh, magnesium sulfate before calcium nitrate. So calcium nitrate will be the last one in this case. And then we have their calcium nitrate and just be sure to mix everything correctly. After finishing adding all the nutrients together with the water, now we need to check the electrical conductivity and the pH. So these are the groups for uh, the electrical conductivity and also the pH. And we are going to check that the pH is around 5.56 and that our electrical conductivity is around 1.4 or 
So now we have our numbers correct and we are ready to use this different solution in this NFT system. And these are the easy steps that you need to follow in order to make a new team solution with the Fort America's fertilizer. Remember just to, to test your water source in order to, amount of the, to know the amount of nutrients that you need to add. Once you have everything right, you need to test the pH and also the electrical conductivity. When everything is correct, now you are ready to start. If you want to learn more or if you have any questions, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to continue learning about Control Environment Agriculture. We want to provide a special thanks to the SIAC for opening the door to Puerto Americas in order to show you a little bit of what is going on in the Control Environment Agriculture Center at the University of Arizona. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, my name is Carla Garcia, Puerto Americas Technical Service and Consultant. See you on the next video.